subcommittee meeting on drug, drug education and awareness committee meeting. And council members, myself as chair, uh, Council Charest and Council Rosignol are also members. And we have uh, two items on the agenda. The first is scholarship awards. Um, and I'd like to turn things over uh, to Council Charest. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I'd like to make a motion to approve a $500 receipt to Angela Hogue, Hugh, Hugh, um, if she would come up to the uh, podium, give us a little brief of what your, your, your plans are and who you are. Okay, um, so I'm not the best at speaking, so bear with me here. Um, so I first off want to thank everyone for the very generous scholarship. Um, I just graduated from Peabody High School. Um, I will be attending Salem State University with a major in criminal justice and a concentration in criminal investigation. Um, I would like to pursue a career in law enforcement, um, either a police officer or a firefighter. Um, if I do become a police officer, I would like to work in the K-9 unit. Um, I have done a few things to sort of boost start my career. Um, um, I was with Chief Griffin for Student Government Day as Chief of Police, and um, oh hi, <laughs> um, and I actually took the new civics-based class, um, Democracy in Action, at the high school with Mr. McHugh, and um, we had the option to choose a capstone project, um, and I chose a field experience, so I was able to spend the week at the police station, um, which was a great experience, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, which I'm so grateful for. Um, so I'm really excited to start my journey at Salem State and see where this takes me, so. Great, good luck with everything. Again, I'd like to make a um, motion to approve the receipt of $500 scholarship to Angela Hogue. So move. You heard the motion by Council Charest. Roll call on the motion. Councilors Rosignol. Yes. Sasla. Is he here? No. Okay. No, it's just uh, Charest and Rosignol. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Charest. Yes. Sorry, Ed. Yes. Manning Martin. Yes. Motion carries three to nothing. Madam Chair, I'd like to, I'm sorry. This is for the City Council Public Service Award. Yes. So yep. you should be recognized for all the public service that you did with, mm -hmm. all, with all the whole students. So, Congratulations. Thank you very much. And if I may, since the chief is here, would you mind coming up, chief, and telling us how great she was at Student Government Day? Because she's, I just met the, the young woman and she was raving about it, and uh, she thinks you're a pretty good guy. So why don't you come on up? Yeah, Angie spent um, Angie spent a week with Angie spent a week with us um, as part of her civics class up at the high school and she she got to see all different aspects of the police department she came across as a very um, squared away intelligent young lady and then we had the uh, opportunity to have her here with student government day and I think she came in front of the city council on a couple of different motions that she um, she did she's she's a wonderful kid uh, she has a bright future ahead of her she's a dancer she does yes. competitive dance and um, I'm very excited I uh, did you take the test, or are you, go, are you going to take it in the next couple of years? Yes. Yeah. And um, you know, we'll see. What, she may be standing here someday in, in a few years, getting sworn in as a as a police officer, which would be a great thing, I think. Thank you, Chief. No problem. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. I, we have another motion. I'll give the floor to Council Rosignol. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I'd like to make a motion to for another five hundred dollar City Council Public Service Award to go to Ryan Nagy. Ryan Nagy is also a graduate of Peabody High School. He's also looking to um, further his education at Jacksonville University and also looking to um, further his education in law enforcement. So I'd like to make that as a motion. Heard the motion by Council Rosignol. Roll call on the motion. Councilors Rosignol. Yes. Charles. Yes. And Martin. Yes. Motion carries three to nothing. <laughs> Thank you. And lastly, I'll just give an update. Uh, the, the money that we were able to um, this year initiate this City Council Public Service Award, which was uh, select, the, the, mem the students were selected by the selection committee at the high school. Um, 
So we were able to um, raise that money and additional money that we had given out earlier in the year to several recovery and education initiatives uh, through the uh, long drive competition uh, in memory of Dan Pimenta, the firefighter, and we're having that event again June 22nd at the Meadow at 6 o'clock. And it, again, it's a long drive competition, and this year we've also added a golf ball drop, and all 500 tickets are sold, and the first prize is $500, second prize is $250, um, and on downward, it's $1,000 worth of prizes, and then the remainder would go to further uh, scholarships and recovery and education initiatives. And again, it's all in memory of firefighter Dan Pimenta, and I, I do want to thank uh, quite a few people that have been helping uh, and have been extremely generous with proceeds thus far and last year as well. Um, this year's sponsors, very generous sponsors for the event, and most of them are repeat sponsors from last year, and they are Grave Arc, uh, of course, Kathy and Dave Gravel, Cuisine 7 LLC, Planet Aid Incorporated, Jack Kelty Esquire, Thrift Co. Printing, Gallo Nero, Metro Bowl, Treadwell's Ice Cream, of course, Tom Gould, counselor, the Meadow Golf Course, and 795 Jubilee Drive LLC. Again, these were um, extremely generous donors, uh, anywhere from 250 to 500 and even a thousand dollar donation so they're very generous we had two n new um, donors this year ginger's closet and also representative tom walsh and we also at this event uh, after we are at the meadow we go down to metro bowl and have another raffle uh, that's very popular there'll be appetizers and a cash bar and pizza at metro bowl at the spare time tavern <laughs> And a lot of local restaurants have, again, offered gift certificates for the raffle. And these are all repeats from last year as well, so I thank them all for their, gen their continued generosity. Uh, Kelly Square Pub, Toscana's Restaurant, Champion's Pub, The Dog Mother, Santapio's Pizza, and Brody's Pub, and a new um, uh, gift certificate and uh, sponsor this year is also Ginger's Closet again. Uh, we still are accepting raffle prizes. If anyone wants to donate raffle prizes, we would accept them uh, gladly. There's also going to be a silent auction as there was last year with sports memorabilia from KBK Sports and they have a lot of autographed Patriots, Bruins, Celtics, and Red Sox uh, items, I guess the Super Bowl items are very popular this year, and they sent a sample of what they'll be offering, and they were signed autogra uh, autographed items from uh, Andrew, help me out somebody, Ben Nin Tendi, I don't follow the Red Sox. Andrew Ben Tendi. Ben Tendi, okay. And Gronk, I can say that one, and Patrice Bergeron, I know those are some of the items. So there'll be a lot of um, sports memorabilia if you're into that it'll be a silent auction please come down to the meadow uh, and participate in that and uh, i also want to thank uh, the folks that helped me with the selling the raffles uh, that would be dave gravel counselor who's very helpful my brother john manning jacqueline corvo todd buckley and kate fabrizio i thank them very much we were able to sell 500 tickets pretty quickly um, with that type of teamwork and i also want to thank um, couple of individuals that helped me number 500 golf balls for the drop. Uh, uh, Viana Kochian and Jacqueline Corvo. So that was a project um, that we completed pretty quickly. And uh, it's, it's just going to be a great event. So stop by the Meadow, June 22nd. 6 p.m. is the long drive. And 7 p.m. is the ball drop. And PMLP was kind enough to send the bucket truck to to dump the balls, and I'm going to try and get Tom Paris up in the bucket to dump the <laughs> balls. He doesn't know yet, though, so don't tell him. Um, and so that's the update. So again, all of this, all these proceeds go to um, all the donations that the city council made through this fund. So everybody's generosity and help is greatly appreciated. So that is the update for 
the Drug Education and Awareness Committee meeting. With that, are there any comments or questions? No? Then I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I moved. All in favor, any opposed? It's a vote.